So what I'd like to do first is I like to numb the injection points with a little lidocaine with epi. So the injection point for the piriform, there's a several uh, directions I use. One is directly down, another one is from lateral to medial, and I'm going to show you that one today. I'm going to inject a little bit at that point. You can also use one from down here, so I'm going to actually inject the nasolabial fold too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do vascular mapping in the piriform uh, aperture. So the angular artery runs in that space, and it runs approximately four or five millimeters deep in most people. It runs with the SMAS. And so generally you want to get your injections either deep to the angular artery or superficial. So let's just use vascular Doppler and find where that angular artery is. And so here we go, that's the angular artery. And actually she has one that's deep as well. So in this case, you want to inject more superficially because she has a deep angular artery, and I'll do color reversion, running along the periosteum. So therefore, that, that very fact changed the way I'm going to inject in this patient. So now I'm going to inject in a more superficial plane using cannulas. All right. So let's go back to the B mode, and we're going to choose this injection point and go in a superficial plane. So we're using sterile... Uh, gauze, we're using sterile ultrasound gel, and we do have a cover over the ultrasound to keep it sterile as well. So I like to choose this point if I'm going superficially. And um, I like to use a large cannula for this as well. So now we're going to use ultrasound to prove our placement. But now I'm going to go in a subcutaneous plane into the piriform. I also go into the ergotrid area too. So now I can inject the whole nasolabial fold as well as the piriform aperture. So let's just confirm our placement with ultrasound. And I want you to hold that for me. And you can see that I'm in the subcutaneous plane with I'm less than two millimeters deep, and so I'm just going to inject a little bit. And you can see, so this is in a superficial plane, not where the periosteum is. And we'll just do a little bit of injection there. And you see that injection. Okay, so you can relax. But I can also inject all throughout this ergotrid too, and the nasolabial fold in this plane, okay? So what we did right there is we found that her angular artery is actually deep. So that deep bolus injection into the deep piriform space wouldn't be safe in this patient. So I had to choose a different route. I had to choose that more superficial route with a large cannula, and she did fine with that procedure.